Hi everyone, I'm Fox 26 Chief Meteorologist Mike Iskovitz with a look at the tropics. Luckily, nothing is threatening the Texas Gulf Coast right now, although it's been raining cats and dogs in a lot of spots. We have two systems that are churning in the Atlantic Ocean right now, one of which is actually affecting land, and that is Tropical Storm Earl. Now, Earl is not a particularly potent or strong storm, and most of the rain is staying to the north of the islands of the Caribbean, but it's getting a little bit windy, a little squally around the Virgin Islands. Pressure on Earl is at 999 millibars. Now that's not very intense. You know, once you start to get down to 980, 970, you know, you start talking about category one hurricanes, maybe even cat twos, but this one 50 mile per hour maximum sustained winds and uh, the Air Force uh, uh, Reserve hurricane hunters are going to be examining this thing and it's very convenient by the way because they can fly out of uh, out of San Juan, but this one is very likely to avoid the east coast of the United States. The latest update from the National Hurricane Center shows that there's a good chance that it could strengthen to Hurricane Earl coming up in about three or four days, but again stays off the east coast of the US. If it were to threaten any land area, most likely would just be Bermuda and over the next 24 hours or so, there's a chance that it could bring some rain to parts of the US Virgin Islands and to uh, Puerto Rico. Here's a look at the computer models on this system, and they're all in very good agreement. So the biggest line that I have here, sort of the thickest line, is the GFS Ensemble mean. So this is the ensemble run of the GFS that's um, where they run the model 30 different times with slightly random starts to each model run. And so you take the average of that, and that actually turns out most of the time to be the best forecast. And you'll find most of the time that that's really in line with what the uh, National Hurricane Center is going with. So there aren't any really uh, significant models that are showing it coming near the United States. But like I said, maybe Bermuda. So that is Earl, Tropical Storm Earl. Now spinning up here in the North Atlantic, we have what's now Tropical Storm Danielle, but it's a pretty feisty system. It was a hurricane, was just downgraded, but really it's very, very close to hurricane status, and it's uh, established for itself a very uh, pretty looking circulation there in the North Atlantic. And here's a look at those computer models of Danielle, with the majority of them showing it moving off toward the east. Look at this beautiful, visible satellite imagery from this afternoon. Actually, this runs from this morning through the early afternoon. Just a beautiful sight. Obviously, we can appreciate it because it's in the middle of the ocean and not affecting any land. But what I wanted to show you here is I drew this sort of this ruler across uh, to show you an idea of scale. So this is about 900 miles. And if you look at the cloud formations out there to the east of it or to the west of it and to the east of it, it actually is having this very, very large influence on the uh, overall flow across the central portion of the Atlantic Ocean. I thought that was kind of neat. I also wanted to show you this out in the Pacific Ocean. This is Javier, which is going to be moving away from Baja, California. But there's another system down here that could become Tropical Storm K over the next couple of days. And what's interesting about this one, as we turn to the future cast here, we're going to take a look at K and take a look at the progress of um, Earl with the GFS computer model. What's interesting about K is that both the Euro and the GFS are showing it getting pretty close to Southern California coming up in about a week. So we'll keep an eye on that one. It's rare, although not unheard of. And then Earl ends up over here by Bermuda. So it's a lot to talk about there. Nothing else, though, is urgent happening in the tropics. I want to thank you once again for checking in with us here with a look at the tropics. We'll see you again tomorrow.